to renew the vows on the exact 25th anniversary today. Definitely, I hope to have the relationship they have when I'm, you know, married and 25 years later. I would be so blessed to marry a man like my dad. I think we all should take lessons from them. I know, they are the perfect That's what I want. I want that kind of marriage in my girl. Me too. You may be seated. I was at Debbie and Glenn's first wedding. Well, and also, when I got married to Glenn, it was a whole different story. We were supposed to have the whole big wedding. Me, Mom, Grandma, and Catherine, like, called it off, like, two days before. And they had to elope and have, like, this tiny, like, little tiny wedding. But we had, like, five people there, so we didn't have the photographer there. So that's why it's sort of hard to find wedding pictures is because of that. There, there may be, maybe ten. But there I am. Debbie and Glenn, I just couldn't believe we're getting married so young, and I just thought that it would never work. Grant you fulfillment and, and will establish your home in peace. Glenn, will thou continue to keep your covenant with Debbie? A few people will know this, like fam some family members know this, but I don't think a lot of their friends know this. But my dad proposed to my mom when she was 14 years old. And I'm pretty, this is sounds terrible, I think my dad's like four years older than her. So he was 18, and she was 14 years old, and he'd only known her for two weeks. Yeah, no, he started asking me to marry him when I was very, very young, and it scared me. It's like, what, what, what? <laughs> and he asked her to, <laughs> to marry him, and apparently um, he asked her, and like she physically ran from him. Like, she ran away from him, and I think that's hysterical. So he knew from, from the beginning, I guess. And um, I was just too young, I guess, to know. But I guess it worked out for him. She came back, you know, so good job, Dad. How come? Because I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. How did you know? At that young age, how did you know? Uh, God told me. It was, in, it was in the stars. I don't know how to explain it. Glenn and I had been dating about a year. I think I was about 15 and a half. I was visiting him in Charleston. He had moved to Charleston, but we were still a couple. Okay, let's see here. This is my mom, August 1948. This is Lisa and I when we were only three months old. We were born in Tokyo, Japan. That's where my daddy was stationed. What I'd like to do to close this ceremony is to have the family circle just join me in prayer. The minister who married us Dr. Renner, and Dr. Renner has such an impact in my life. He was the one person, other than Mama too, that believed in me and made me realize that I was worthy, was a good person, and that God had some really strong plans for me. But I think what God's, his thing was, was my two children and us being decent parents. Well, they're awesome. They've always been there for me. And, uh, my mom's always been there emotionally for me whenever I needed her. My dad's always kind of like my uh, best friend, I guess you could say. The relationship with them as individuals and as parents, I couldn't ask for anything better. When my mom and my dad got divorced, it was very difficult because my dad and I are very, I mean, I was close to my mom, but my dad and I are very, very close. I love you. And when we realized that we were meant for each other, we took the vows seriously. And we also were adamant that if we didn't achieve anything, that our kids were going to have two parents. I'm even stunned by how, like, amazing my parents have raised me and my brother. My dad is my best friend. My mom's always, always there for me. Literally, like, at least once a week, we have some, like, big, like, discussion about just random stuff. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, about politics or anything, just, you know, just, just talking. And I think how amazing that is because there are so many kids who, like, don't even know their parents, and my parents are my best friends in the whole world. I love my parents very much. They make me very happy. Love suffereth long. 25 years, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never fails. Love never fails. We met when I was 14, but we dated other people off and on in between. 
I was going to school to become a medical assistant. I was deeply in love with him. He picked me up from school and he was supposed to wait until we went out to dinner and he couldn't wait and he asked me to marry him and I was not expecting it but when he pulled the ring out yes just came out and they're really somebody to to be jealous of to, um, in this day and time to to have the love that they have for each other I, I I didn't even think about it it just was yes 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 tears yes happy happy yes yes his mom had a lot to do with it too if that makes any sense she was a big part of my life, a very, very big part of my life. My teenage years weren't the best, um, and there was a period of time I actually lived with Trudy, Glenn's mom, lived there with them. You know, anytime I had the questions that normal teenage girls would have, she was the one I went to. She was my mom from 14 until today. I mean, it's like, you know, it's what every woman's dream of romance. And it's real. My favorite thing about my husband is his sense of humor. Um, and a close second is he's genuine, 100% genuine. There's no, there's no fake with Glenn. It's very important to me and the wife. We've thought about this for many, many years. And he tried to elope. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it happened. And again, thank you all so much for, for coming to this. I appreciate it greatly. That was, actually, that's not too old. Glenn and I were married about six months there. Wonderful, at times hard, difficult, tough years. They have gone through a, a bunch of rocky roads and hard times, but I think that those hard times and rocky roads are what has made their, their marriage so strong throughout the years. Commitment, dedication, definitely. It's uncommon, it seems like. Mm -hmm. And not the commitment you have, you know, things get tough, you don't give up, you know, you still, mm -hmm. you made a commitment, you stick to it, you know, and it's, that's what makes it great in a sense, is when the good times come, you're realizing that much more and taking for what they're worth kind of thing. And they've always been loyal to each other. Even if they go through like hard things, they show that you can go through like struggles and still like, love each other and get through it. And that, which, that's what love is really all about. <laughs> lots of patience, lots of, lots of love, and never giving up. You just don't throw in the towel the first time that, that things get tough. In fact, you find out that you actually get, your marriage is stronger and the relationship becomes better and you fall even more in love with that person going through those hard times. I'm not used to this. Yeah. I think true perfection is a person that can wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and no matter what, be content with who they are. And I think that my parents, despite all the problems that have happened in their lives, are so content and they're so happy. I think the fact that they can wake up in the morning and be happy and that's the most beautiful thing I think anyone could have.